This is a 1949 uh, Crosley truck. A very unusual body style. I've seen the two-door cars, the station wagons, the hot shot, which was their little sporty car, and but I've never seen one of these. This is the truck version. Now there's been an engine transplant here. This is a Pinto four-cylinder engine, which they somehow managed to tuck in under the hood. Nicely done. This has a modern paint job and uh, modern wheels. The back end has been changed around. But what's really interesting is the original motor in these cars was a stamped steel version that had an overhead cam. Interesting example of early overhead cams here in the United States. And eventually, in 1949, they replaced that with a cast iron version. They also had disc brakes on those cars, uh, but unfortunately, those early disc brakes uh, rusted, so they had to be replaced. Notice the modern gauges here in this uh, Crosley. They were made in Ohio, I do believe. Crosley was a radio magnate. Uh, he owned, I think, a radio station, and maybe in Cincinnati. He made radios. He made refrigerators. In fact, we had a Crosley refrigerator back in the day. And that Crosley refrigerator was the first one to have shelves in the door. So they called it the Crosley Shelvador. I remember it very well. The compressor was a huge affair that sat under the refrigerator. And that thing never wore out. Amazing. Amazing. And back in the day, they, they had such reliability and they were overbuilt. They just basically never wore out. But, of course, they weren't self-defrosting. So, you know, they were. And the freezer section was tiny. But an interesting, interesting thing.